Want some punch? Sure. Ah! <laughs> if that joke knocked you out, don't miss my performance in the Junior Comedians Contest this Saturday at the Turtle Portal. It's sure to generate a lot of ah! buzz. <laughs> hear that the lipstick and the eyeliner got into a fight? Don't worry, they'll make up. <laughs> Get it? <sighs> Come see me perform at the Junior Comedians Contest this Saturday. It'll definitely leave you feeling... Oh! Hey, Lisa, what's 3.14159? Don't waste my time. That's pie. Did you say pie? <laughs> I'll be serving up a big slice of comedy at the Turtle Portal, Saturday night. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ivan. Ivan who? Ivan to suck your blood! Please don't touch Edwin. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to be a pain in the neck. <laughs> hey, come see my act at the Turtle Portal. I promise it won't bite. <laughs> Guess what? You're invited to. Thank you all for coming to my tea party. Who would like a finger sandwich? Finger sandwich? I was hoping for tofu. Har har. Get it, toots? Don't be a dummy. Come to my show. I got punched. I got, punched. I got Tofu, really? <sighs> Let me guess, Luann? Uh, she said she had a yolk that would crack me up. P.S. It didn't. I can't wait for her chortle portal thing to be over. She's been driving me nuts. Tell me about it. It's not even funny. It's just obnoxious. She's so annoying. I wish you would just stop. Yeah, I know. I know. It's not good. cool. Why did the students eat their homework? Because their teacher said it would be a piece of pie. No, no, no. The punchline is piece of cake. <laughs> was a little crummy. <laughs> but don't worry, things are about to get better. <laughs> Did you hear about the race between the lettuce and the tomato? The lettuce was ahead, but the tomato was trying to catch up. <laughs> Why couldn't Timmy ride a bicycle? Because Timmy was a goldfish. What did the bald man say when he got a comb for his birthday? I'll never part with it. <laughs> Oh, there go Bernie's teeth again. How about that talent, eh? That's my granddaughter. Oh, thank you. Well, this is my stop, so I must ask you to excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> What's that all about? Oh, that's my new gig. I'm the entertainer on the Giggling Geezer. Giggling Geezer? The bus Sunset Canyon uses to take the seniors on day trips. Do you realize what this means? Today, the Giggling Geezer, tomorrow, the Royal Woods Theater. Tomorrow? Can we still get tickets? No, not tomorrow, tomorrow. Someday tomorrow. I hope to be the youngest person to ever perform there. Well, congratulations. Keep reaching for those dreams. Aw, thanks. You're so supportive. The more success she has, the less time she has to prank us. Ah. Yeah, she still has time. Oh, here's your first customer. Hi, nice to meet you. I heard there was a new employee at the Burp and Bee, so I hustled down here to catch up. <laughs> Let us catch up indeed. I hope that new employee isn't beefing it. <laughs> Get it? Come on, brah. Are you going to order or what? Hang on, we're on a roll. You got to relish it. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, Luann, we're gonna move you to drive through window duty. Did you hear that, Dad? I'm already getting promoted. I'm gonna go home and tell Mom. Hello? Oh, is this thing on? Knock, knock! Ooh, who's there? It's Mr. Grouse. I just want a cheeseburger. Mr. Grouse, I just want a cheeseburger who? <laughs> uh, these louds are everywhere now. <laughs> oh, hey, Benny. You're just in time to do knock-knock jokes with me. Uh, let's circle back to that. I'm getting complaints that every time someone orders a number two, you're handing them fake dog poop? I knew you would love that one. <laughs> oh, I missed having fun with you. It's just like old times. Oh, can I just get a number two? Will do do. Oh, hey, Benny. I didn't know you were in the play. Hey, Luann. Yeah, I'm a Montague. Oh, and I'm a Capulet. Guess we're sworn enemies. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and now, thespians. 
Here's your drama teacher. The two-time nominee for Royal Woods Dinner Theater's Best Director, Mrs. Bernardo! Did she just announce herself? It sure looks that way. Stop it, you're too kind. <laughs> gather, children, gather. I am so thrilled to be helming this production of Romeo and Juliet. Now, Capulets, I want you stage left. Montagues, stage right. You'll be rehearsing separately. What? Why? I mean, uh, is that really necessary? Yes! It'll enhance the dramatic tension. Remember, these families hate each other! <laughs> Come on, Mr. Coconuts. Let's grab a seat next to... Huh? Go, Mr. Coconuts! <laughs> oh, hey, Benny! Did you see last night's episode of The Real Mimes of Miami? Yeah, I really felt for Magda when she was trying to order a pizza over the phone. Mime life, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Here, your stomach might find this appealing. <laughs> Thanks, a bunch. <laughs> Good one. And action! Like saints do not like move, though grant for like prayer's sake. Then move not. Uh, hang on. <laughs> While my prayers affect, I fake. No, wait, that's a T. Take, not fake. No, 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 no! This is all wrong! I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> Ruby Spencer, this is the hardest part of any director's job, but I've decided to go another way with my Romeo and Juliet. Don't be discouraged if you keep working your craft. So, like, I don't have to memorize, like, any more of this? Whew, I sweated off the rest of my lines in gym class. Fear not, thespians! The show will go on! The perfect Romeo and Juliet have been with us all along! Benny and Loran! <gasps> I've been watching you two, and I know you are going to be wonderful! Now, Romeo and Juliet, let's pick up where we left off. The kiss! The kiss? Uh, oh, I just remembered I have a... An orthodontist appointment today. Gotta get the old braces tightened. Otherwise, this'll be Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> oh. Hi, Benny. Hey. I heard you quit the play. Yeah. How come? Honestly, Luann, because of you. It's clear you aren't comfortable with me playing Romeo. No, just the opposite. Oh, the only reason I wanted to be in the play is so I could spend some time with you. Really? Then why did you keep finding ways to avoid kissing me? I... No, oh, it's not you. It, uh, it's... Never mind. She was nervous because she's never kissed anyone before. Mr. Coconuts! What? Someone's gotta say it! Well, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Benjamin's never kissed anyone either. <gasps> Mrs. Appleblossom! Oh, you weren't supposed to tell. Well, I gotta say, that's a load off. Luann didn't want to embarrass herself in front of old Benny boy. Just between you and me, she's sweet on the guy. <laughs> Really? Uh, Benjamin rather fancies her as well. He does? I mean, you do? <laughs> well, Mrs. Apple Blossom, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Uh -oh!